come on. I did say. Good afternoon, guys. I did say to you um, last night at Extreme Q Sports TV, I'd be bringing you a little treat. Um, we've got Neil Britton against Christy Caulfield. Christy from uh, Coventry has come down to give Neil a game. A thousand pound a man. So sit back, enjoy the game. Christy to break. Excuse me, I'll just burp down the down the mic. And we have a treat as well today. I have I have actually got the uh, Alvarez camera up, so uh, I'll be switching it to the break. So Christie's on reds. Guys, if you can hear me loud and clear, give me a thumbs up. Yes, Jimmy Wright. You know. Yeah, guys, if you can just like and share, it would be very much appreciated. Mark decides to hold uh, the mic in his hand while he's um, messing about with the uh, mic. I mean, his, his headset. Can you hear me? I can hear you. You're a bit. You're a bit loud. A uh, bit loud. Yeah, unless it's just my uh, headset. Okay, it's it's like wow in my ear. Good afternoon, guys. Yes, I have Mark Bastable in the commentary box um, from his uh, lucky win last night. Just. Just managed to get over it. Very tired, hard work, graft, battling, all of these things. Behave. Welcome, Dean Ridley, you legend. Oh, you're my dickhead. Sorry, my son's decided to change the um, the uh, keys for the camera angles and he's using the keys to type with. So I do apologise for the sudden quick uh, change of camera angles. So a very good shot there by uh, Christy. Are we all better now? Better with the cameras? Yeah. I the, th the thing is, you know yourself, the keyboard there, I had all the, the cameras on keys. One, two. That, that, was, that was well away from me. So we've switched them to the uh, keys above the, uh, the letters. So I'll tell you what, Mark, we're only... We're only five minutes into the game and, and we've doubled the amount of people um, than what we had uh, last night, mate. Surprising, really, with the dropping standard that we've got on today. Yeah, yeah, the standard won't be anything like uh, last night, mate. Dish vest. Gemma Wright. Jimmy, to be honest, I didn't think he would win one frame. Wow. I think I think that's a compliment, to be fair, mate, because he's saying you're a machine. Oh, thanks, Jimmy. I, I appreciate that, if that's what you mean. Neil's just got a little bit of work to do with the yellows here. There's a couple up there. Um, mm, 
black's going to be a bit of a bit of a problem ball for him here if he decides to go for him. I'm not sure if the the yellow passes into the corner that he's looking at. Yeah, it does. I've now just got to make sure I've got the right keys. I'm assuming. What's that smell? So I can s it smells like shredded pork or something. Okay, let's see. If I do press the wrong key, guys, it's just that uh, I'm just getting used to the change. This black's a little bit of a, a nuisance for Neil as it stands. Almost glued to the rail where the red's in the in the pockets as well, so it's, it's going to make it a little bit tough. Is he playing to nudge it off or is he going to try and leave a double? No, he's going to be leaving himself uh, a double to this bottom left hand corner for now, Neil. So, yeah, guys, coming in. If you can like and share, be very much appreciated. Gemma, right, the frames basketball loss, to be honest, he gave him two. Mate, you relax. You played some good stuff. Cheers, Jimmy. Appreciate it. Oh, so he tried to just fetch it out there, and he's just been a little bit unlucky. And he's left himself a double to top bag. Mm. Mm. Uh, is it a yes or is it a nay for this, Joyce? Oh, mate, nailing doubles. He's tried to play a bit of a uh, containing shot there as well, but... So a little test of queuing here for him. Dead straight plant. Just want to play dead weight. Yeah, he's yeah. controlled that well. I think that's going to be the first frame on the board for Christie. Yeah, so 1-0 <laughs> there. So if any of you guys know anything about this uh, Christie Caulfield guy, then please put the things in the comments. I, I don't know too much about him. I obviously know a bit more about Neil. Um, so, Neil to break. Oh, he's lost the white. He's lost the white. <coughs> if you haven't already, please, guys, like and share Extreme Q Sports TV. That would be fantastic. Um, is Washi playing later? I'm not too sure, but... Yes, no, he's he, he, he is playing it later. Uh, I think it's about 7 o'clock start. He's playing in um, Q8 at, uh, in Wigan. Yeah, what time's that one start? I think it's about seven o'clock. <coughs> Is it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think he's playing for like about close to twenty grand. Is it or something? Something like that, mate. Yeah. So Blackford will be on board with that, no doubt. Oh, definitely. When I first saw the game, I thought he was playing Gareth Hibbert. Well, actually, it's not. It's Gareth Higgins. Yeah. Um, Jolsey messaged me saying. Uh, When's he playing Gar Gareth Hibbert? And I went, he ain't playing Gareth Hibbert. Mm. Yeah, so Christie's got a chance here just to uh, settle himself a little bit. But he looks a good stick accuser ball nice. Yeah, well, going back to what you said earlier, um, even I don't know much about him, you know. Um, these, these faces pop up. I, d I do know that he's uh, from Coventry, only because I spoke to him earlier. Yeah, so we're just getting a few things here. Great player, Christy won a big tournament in Ireland and he beat Jeff Allen last time, seen Christy and played really well. Yeah, to be honest, mate, anybody that comes to Midlands to play Neil off levels, you know they're a good stick and 
and they're not doubting themselves because it's no. not an easy place to come and Neil certainly not a pushover for anybody. Craig Lakin. Hello. Mr. Lakin's in the air. Craig Lakin. How you doing, Craig? Why, why is he, has he not got, got a football match or something to go to? Or a post about Liverpool to write or something like that? Oh, I don't think Liverpool's playing today, so there's nothing he can, he can uh, Nothing he can write. He's a Man United supporter anyway. He wears... Um, good practice for Neil Bastable. Yeah, definitely. I think it's a good, it's a good game and... Uh, I think it'll be a good practice for both of them. Definitely going to see how they're queuing. Right, table's fast. There's a white. Oh, he can't. Can he see? It? So I'm looking from behind. It looks like he can, but on the camera it looks like he can't. Yeah, he so can we'll clearly see it, mate. It's a great shot. He's played that really, really well. That is a great shot. <coughs> so he's pushing the ball through nice. So just the black to go two, two up. Just like to take this opportunity to wish Jason happy birthday. Belated happy birthday. It was yesterday when I was streaming your Belated movie. happy birthday. Yeah, oh, was it yesterday while I was, it was playing? Yes oh, it was, mate. mate. So that three pound thirty three you've put in my PayPal <laughs> to buy a couple of cans of coke. I'll appreciate that later, mate. That's it guys. So this morning. I knew it was Jason's birthday at some point, so I sent him £3.33 on PayPal with a message saying, get yourself two Cokes and a Twix. Love, Bastable. There you go. I think I might just spend it all on chocolate. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I was going to say, get a kebab. <laughs> no. Mate, I've, I've, I've just asked for... Um, a pen and paper. A bacon sandwich, but my, I want my bacon. Well done, Bert. Oh. And it come to me squealing. <laughs> I was wondering what that pig was running round. So, Christy to break. With a 2 0 frame head start. He's got a yellow down. <coughs> Cheers, Wayne Bennett. Money making work in there, don't get time for larking about, yeah. Whew. So, either way he goes for these, they're not going to be easy. He's got a couple of uh, couple of problem balls. Um, if he decides to go red, the red at the bottom of the table. He's got to go yellow. If he decides to go yellow, then he's got the... The yellow up by the top of the table. Could he maybe get through the gap now and go twice across? One, two, and just try and fetch it out? I can't see him take it. I, c I can't see him going for these. I, th I think he's going to lay up and... Um, just ask the other question. Yeah, just get that bad ball out somehow. But you've got to make sure he don't give Neil the opportunity to get this first red out on the bottom rail. That's a clever shot. Yeah, he's played that well. He's um, he's stopped Neil from getting this bottom red out and put himself in a position to kick this uh, bad yellow out by putting that yellow up into the top left-hand corner. Very good shot there. Yeah, so f following on from last night's game, the standard's very high at this early stage. Tried a three cheeky three ball plant and he's got away with it. Hundred and fifty five viewers already. Daisy Burke, I'm I'm sure you're um on about I can't I Mm. 
Christie is a good player. He used to drink in my old pub in Coventry. Not many beat him from Graham Owen. Get sharing, lads, please. Yes, Stevie, so far. So, Neil's just got a bit of work to do here. Um, Christie's definitely got control of this frame. Neil may just opt to fudge the bottom hole here. Yeah, he ain't got the hole there. It's uh, pace of the tables, just brought it back out the knuckle. Yeah, so I would imagine that Christie's going to press the go button pretty shortly. Neil Barton, um, I've seen him play these first few frames and um, yeah, he does look a quality player there, mate. Um, he's not going to give um, very many opportunities per frame, so Neil's got to uh, mind his work. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's playing really tight already, isn't he? Like, uh, if he hasn't got an opportunity, he's not rushing into it, he's just... Yeah, as you can see, just fudging the hole again there. Yeah, I think Neil knows that um, he ain't going to outpot uh, Christie today, so I think he's playing a, a, ta a few tactical frames to see how he gets on. Jimmy Wright, why do you say your missus is mental? <laughs> Martin Tonks is in the room. How you doing, my cuddly bear friend? Whoever decided to let them on the table next to the commons. Well, I, I, I strictly said to the, the, the guys behind the counter, do not let anybody play on the tables two up from where we're sitting. Well, that's kind of straightened up. I don't know whether he's... Uh, yeah, I, th I think he hit it. Yeah, yeah. That's straightened up. I think it's just the pace that he's, he's played it. He's, he's played it well. He's opened his balls up. He's definitely yeah. asking uh, questions of Neil's ability of uh, a tactical frame here. I don't know, playing Neil myself. Um, he won't be in any rush. Oh, he's just tried the double there and it's just jawed and just popped out a little bit. So Neil's just going to try and push up to the yellow. Yeah, Neil's just looking for cover at the moment. I think. I'm just looking. Does that yellow go down the bottom rail, Jace? Down the bottom rail. Yeah, does the yellow go down there? He's playing for it, so we. Yeah, mate. Yeah, he's he's, he's got to be careful how we play just to make play sure. The plan, maybe yeah. get play the double kiss and just leave the white just behind the red, just like that. And see, that's the problem. He's 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 hit it with a little bit too much pace, but um. I think it's and, and still okay as long as he gets the white out a couple of foot. Oh, he's just taking no, his time. Fair yeah, play to him. Yeah. So Neil's just announced that it's uh, a touching ball. Everything's going on. We've got players around us, the football on the big screen. 
that yellow as a side of your head. It's just landed in towards that middle pocket. Um, because Christie can leave leave that to his last but one but uh, last but one ball and, and play two balls in one, if you know what I mean. Yeah. As he left that ball, can you see the yellow over the hole here? He's looking at it like he can. It's not easy bridging. I think you can see it off that angle, mate. You def definitely can see it off that angle. Yeah, it's, it's horrible a, bridging. It's he's yeah, bridging it's from about six inches higher than the ball. Yeah, it's a very, th very thin cut. Oh, he's missed it. He's missed it. Yeah, it's a tough shot. I can't bridge shots. I'm, I must be the worst player of bridging. So, Robbie Watson, it's played at the Midlands Club um, in Bilston. It's Neil's home venue. Neil's elected to clear the bag. I think he'll be uh, putting the white tight into this. Uh, Cluster. Yeah, just leave it hard for him to to see anything at all. <coughs> so Christie's got to find the uh, the right angle just to drift past this black to it, this yellow that's towards the middle pocket here. The thing is, this cloth's new. It's only been on just over a week, so the cushions will slide. This will test his ability. I think any contact on either yellow and it, the, it's got a chance of going as well, hasn't it? Yeah, and that's what's happened there. It, it, it slid at that pace, but... Yes, Gemma Wright. I think Gemma Wright likes the Alvarez camera shots there. Cheers, Oz. I'm still learning on the commentary box. Um, I have my own style of play. It is very hard to... Um, to call shots on on players' that ability is a, a level above yourself, but um, but yeah, we're trying to do a good. Uh, you feel like you've earned a bonus point when you get when you get something right. Yeah, Kevin Moles is in the room, Mister Mister Orange Mr. himself. Orange. Good afternoon. I feel like Kevin Miles needs um, a brother company to Team Orange, Team Pink, Team Pink. Yeah, uh, yeah. Kevin Miles, I'm just letting you know, Mark Bastable, I am the man. Team Pink promotions. I don't think Pink and Orange would go well, to be fair. No, it, w it wouldn't have to go. It just together brightness. You know what I mean? Look, it I mean, look at Pride. Yeah, but it it'd end up something like if you if you had babies, <laughs> something like wow. Team Salmon. Well, I don't want Kevin Miles' babies. I was just thinking business opportunity and all that. More Miles than Judith Chalmers. Richie Cox, love you as always, sir. Yes, Richie Cox, good afternoon. He was looking for a little game earlier on. I, I don't know whether he got himself one. Has, it, has he come far enough, Neil? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's, he's perfect, uh, isn't he? Ooh. He'll be all right, mate, from this. Digging down. But yeah, just a delicate okay. shot. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, these bags are so tight. Oh, mate, you know, you played your money match last night on the left hand table and your opponent says to me these pockets are tight I know and I, and, 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 and I know from experience playing on, on that table the buckets compared to this this middle table yeah I, I, I played Neil on the middle table in the week and it's just like it is this like when Reggie Gill played Jenks yeah everybody said the standard was that bad and they looked really bad but this table makes ordinary players look horrendous if you hit any part of the cushion on the way down, they won't go. Whereas on most tie balls, they let, they let you. K 
Kevin Miles, say hello to the kids and tell the wife we love her as always. Right, guys, I've got a couple of messages coming through, so I'm going to leave you for five minutes in the capable hands of um, my uh, cow pilot, uh, my lovable friend, Mark Bastable. It, it might be something to do with the internet here or something. Yeah, yeah. For that. Cheers, Richie Cox. Yeah, Chrissy Price, this table's only got reclothed about a week ago. Um, and Beefy was ironing it before they started, so he will be playing so, so quick. Um, it's just mega quick and mega tight, but if you play poor on it, you get found out. But at the minute, the standard's relatively high. Um, safety play's been good. Yeah, Richie Cox, as always, if you come down, you, you're more than welcome to jump in the comms box. You know that, son. You've just got to get here, haven't you? I, I'm going bingo as well, about 6 o'clock, mate. I'm feeling lucky after my win last night, so going to get on the bingo and see how we do. Yeah, it is Nathan. Cupo will be sat behind the table. Reckon he has those legs anywhere. Yeah, there's a <laughs> yeah, definitely. I can see what you're saying. I'm looking at that now, and a one million percent, I'd know that was an eighth. Funny Joe Warren, I rate you for that. <coughs> so Christy's uh, Christy's playing really well, to be honest. Is he looking at just? Nudging that red just so the yellow passes in the opposite corner. Oh yeah, he's played that really well. I think he's on a I think he's on the plant and he can just roll the white through and just flick off flick off the red if he needs to. Yeah, just like that. So he's gone a little bit further than what he would have liked. He's a little bit hampered. Um but he's still just gonna pump this up and out. Oh, he's played that wonderfully. Couldn't have judged it any better. And this is for 4-0. And it's straight in the heart of the pocket. So Christie's... Christie's flying. Get some predictions off you guys. Um, so it's a race to 21. This is good practice for both the players. It's not a huge... Coming up. Jason coming back with the chocolate. That's uh, 60 periods, 3 pounds 33. That's something like PayPal's just there. Yes, mate, I need a sug of this. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I just had to have to answer a couple of uh, text messages. Um, I've run my series this start this Saturday. So my players are asking me a few questions. I need to uh, get a question to talk. Um, if you like the quality of the stream today, um, just go onto my page and just give us a review. It'll be very much appreciated. Some absolutely shocking results in the football today. Absolutely shocking. We'd, we'd, we're on about pool now, not football. I'm devastated. I've just looked at my Skybet account. I wish I never bothered. Mate. We've, me, me and my son always have £10 each on, on a four-fold every Saturday. 
and we've not had one in for the for the last five weeks. So Christie's trying to look at a plant here just to uh, open things up. Just getting some of the predictions in as well here on the messages. Steve so four twenty one nineteen Neil, um, Matty Hawkins twenty one seventeen Christy, Wayne Bennett twenty one seventeen Neil. Um, Richie Cox 3-3 three, three. I'm not sure what game he's watching Mate I, 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 <laughs> I don't know That kid is off his trolley Oh um, On about streaming your match last night We uh, we streamed your match Yeah um, you, you did watch it back didn't you Yeah yeah. Did you like the part where we was um, The jokes The jokes Yeah it was It, 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 it was quite entertaining to be fair To be honest I was thinking to myself while I was watching it How much fun would I have I had on the comms, if I was doing if, that if part, if you was doing it, yeah, yeah, yeah. so it it was a, uh, it was good, definitely. Uh, I think it brightened up a, a dull ball. Oh ball yeah, match. yeah. All right, yeah. Jace, you meant to say no. Sean Daly, twenty-one fourteen. Christie, Richie Cox, three three. He's confused now. I think R he's confused himself. Rich, I just made the three three thing up just to make you sound like a Mongol. Chad Owl, I should have won the chalk, to be honest. Chad Owl is the only commentator who said at 15... No, he said at 16-6 on the comms, he went. And the score is now 16-6. That's a, that's a lead of 11 frames. <laughs> to be honest, um, I think it's the longest time I've ever seen Chad sit there quietly and not eat food. I think if he stayed at the, on the comms box every weekend... It'd be as slim as me and you. Wow, well, I'll take that. I'll take <laughs> that. <laughs> well. We love you really, Chad, and thanks for dropping in the comms box last night. You was very professional. Yes, mate, appreciate it. Aaron Imus probably wouldn't, um, wouldn't uh, 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 agree on that one, but... Um, this Christie is fearless. Do you think he's going to fire this now down the rail and mate, push I'd, it all I'd, the way through? I'd... I really do think that um, this Christie is, is is a level above um, Neil Britton. Do you? Yeah, I really do. Oh, not with that shot. Not with that but, shot. But how's your look? He's got away with it. So can Neil play this yellow? Oh, sorry, this red, just right at the green spot and just put a delicate screw on it and, um, and just leave it and just let just tight. just leave the white tight to the rail yeah he's played it well i think he's got the cover the only problem is with this if it comes off the top rail and it's this yellow into the red there's a chance it'll go in the middle pocket i don't know if he can get through the gap between two reds i think he can Kim Monaghan's in the house. If he how catches you, how, how you doing there, young sir? Oh, wow. That's, yeah, I thought he was going to pop that, to be honest, when he, when he got left. You it. thought he was going to pop that, to be honest. He's, he's gone round two angles. No, watch this, watch this. You can see that as long as he hits it, it's going to go close to that middle pocket. I didn't expect it to, to go off, off the jaw, jaw into the other middle but pocket. I, but I thought he was going to get close to it. I mean, he's not great on this anyway, but... See, this is a, this is a great ad, um, advantage of... Um, Black ball rules. You can just close your eyes and, and hit stuff. Yeah. Richie Cox is hungover. He, he messaged me last night. Oh, what, is that gone? Oh, no. No. The, these cushions are just sliding. The, no. It's, it's a new cloth. It's at your time warning, yeah. Phil Ward. Hello, mate. Phil Ward. Who, who, who's the comment for there, mate? It's got to be about Richie Cox. It, well, it's rather Richie Cox or Chad. Yeah, <laughs> one of the two. Take your pick. Richie Cox, on your bike, pal. On your bike. I'll tell you what, Christy's got quite a fan base going on now. Oh, yeah. There's a y lot of people... Yeah. Uh, I, th I, think, I think majority of Christy's uh, fans are, are, are watching that's at the nearly 200 mark of uh, viewers. He's done well to hit that. Right, Neil's going to go for these, isn't he, surely? Yeah, Neil will run these. I can't see Neil missing these. 
you know, I had a practice with Niels Q um, while setting up the cameras and stuff like because obviously I've got to get the colours right and this and the other. Mate, I didn't miss a ball. And I said to him, I says, I just love your cue. I'd smash you up if I played you with your own cue. And how did he feel about that? He just laughed. <laughs> Jealous things in the house. How you doing, big nose? So, Neil's actually got a frame on the board here. I think that'll settle him in. It's always tough when your player's running running off with it and you, you need to get your first frame on the board just to break that rut. Yeah, definitely. He won't be happy that he went 4-1 down. I think that the frame where it went a little bit scrappy, I think he, and he had the two shots, I think he felt that he probably should have won that one. Yeah. And he, and he didn't. To be fair, Richie Cox, it isn't your old cue, it's my son's old cue because it was um, my son purchased it off uh, Chad. He was the last person that had that cue. That cue's been round more than Sticky Vicky. Oh, mate, uh, Neil sold it to Richie Cox, Richie Cox sold it to Chad, Chad sold it to my son, and my son sold it back to Neil. So it's, it's, it's got round a bit, yeah. James Humphreys Jenks. Hello, Jenks. Hello, Jenks. Have you got any more money matches coming up, sir? A decider against Reggie Gill, <coughs> maybe, in the pipeline. A bashing of Richie Cox. Richie Cox has probably got a game against him organised. He's got he's got one against everyone else. Oh, that's a clever shot by now. He's been a little bit unlucky. Oh, God, I just hit, hit the headset with me mic while scratching my forehead. Chrissy record, hello mate, Gary Keane, yo guys, how you guys, loving life. I've just had a message from one of my players, Stephen Palmer, Yeah. and he says to me, he says, um, is there any chance of starting early, Sunday, because I'm on a stag do all weekend? Sunday? That's what I says, Sunday, question marks, laughing faces. We start Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> Does it go on to the Sunday? No. It's a one day event. That's what I thought. Jella. I, I, I think you're trying to spell the Indian way of Jason. There's no Y in my name. It's J A S O N. And believe me, if we stood together, Yon would definitely be bigger than mine. Can Jella sing play? Can Jella what? Can Jella sing play? So out of our fourfold, um, Stoke is nil-nil. We need a goal from Stoke to get our fourfold up. Is Jealous Singh any good, Jace? You didn't answer the question. Um, Indian number one, mate. A good player. He's, he's, um, he's, he's two levels above Reggie Gill. Well, I'm not sure where that puts you. <laughs> Barnaby Howes just joined. Yes, Barney. Yes, Barney. I'll tell you what. I've got to say, this Christie's having a bit of... Uh, a bit of luck. Does that yellow go? I think he's going to try and come off back cushion. Oh, wow. That, that is, that is so unlucky. Shot. Guys, I've, I've got to tell um, the staff that they're putting players on tables that um, Wim's streaming right by. And I've already mentioned it to him once before.
Oh, so Neil's just caught that a little bit thick. Not sure if Christy can get through to this. He can certainly get through to the left hand yellow, but I'm not. Yeah, so he's just going to try and flick off it and drop behind the two. Yeah, it's a good shot. Yes, Kevin Miles. He, he can't miss this kid. He genuinely can't. Even he's fudging. He's uh, he just put some centre pocket. So Neil just needs to maybe catch this first red and hit it onto the second and pot it all, which he's tried. And where's this red going? Where's this red going? Yeah, so I'm not sure if he can pot that yellow by the black. He looks like he can the way he's queuing it. So this should be 5-1. Yeah, so he's played that well. Matthew Ward's just put, can you ask the fellow in the front row where he got his Claire Rainers from? What are Claire Rainers? Trainers. Come on, get with the uh, oh, script. I, do, I don't know that, mate. It's Claire Rainers. Which one, mate? He's, he's, he's on about... Wilbur. Wilbur. He's, forget his trainers. Look at his legs. I oh know. Where did he get them from? They don't them sell them in the butchers anymore, do Make them chunks out of them. Bless him. And his ankle socks are beautiful. So Christy to crunch. And a crunchy ass. He's gone dry though. So Neil needs to sort his head out here. He's got a lot of work to do. Yeah, definitely. He's, you know Neil's going to have a purple patch at some point where he's not going to miss a lot for for a few frames. Yeah, when when Neil gets on it, he can can easily re reel four or five frames off just a blink of an eye. Them legs are mine. Yes, Nathan Cuba Wilbur, as if he's listening from over there. Hello, Treacle. So, Neil's Mr. Double. You don't say that very often, do you? No, you don't say that, that at all when um, it comes to doubles. Neil will double anything. So, you can definitely tell that um, it's sliding the cloth. Quite impressed with Christy, to be fair, the way he's just coming. I am, mate. I, I, I am as well. You know, um, a very impressive player. First time I've seen him play. It's always nice to see new faces down at the Midlands Club. A few more people coming in to watch as well now. Yeah, we've got about 30 people here, are Watching. There was quite a few here last night, wasn't there? Yeah, I was surprised. yeah. I counted halfway through the game. I got to like uh, uh, four. 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 Four or five? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I got to <laughs> about 40 or 50, and I was like, Jesus, never been known. He's missed that by a mile, ain't he? Christy has there, uh, after praising him. Yep. Richie Cox and Ryan Killian, five start to 21, 50 pounds. I'll tell you what, Richie Cox. Richie Cox it, is going to ask for backing. He'd, he'd play a spider on the wall <laughs> if there was money on it. The kid, he's just relentless. Is that Danny and Lee's that's just come in? That is Danny and Lee's, yes. Absolute Paul royalty. Mr. Stutter himself. Yeah, nice yeah, shot there. Good shot. 
a lot of left hand side on the cue ball just to uh, yeah, get that ball rolling. A little bit further away from the pocket than what it looks as well. Oh, wow. Little mistakes like that. Yeah, it's At this level, you yeah, punished, yeah. don't you? Neil don't normally do. So he's definitely feeling it out there. James Humphries jacks. Fuck me, Cox is always after a game. Yeah, he used to be honest. Richie Cox, I've had a look in his diary. Um, and he's got 14 money matches arranged Richie Cox for next week. Richie Cox's calendar is about as full as mine. <laughs> you know, and I'm fully booked up until like... June. So is he going to go for these or is he just going to put the red over the... Oh, he's just going to fire this in the rail, no problem, is he? Mate, he's, he's re is it as if he's going to put the ball over the hole. This kid is he's on fire. He's a freak, isn't he? <laughs> Ryan Killian ain't won a set this year. Hustlers are everywhere these days. Oh, yeah, he's played that really well. So Does this red go past the black? Yeah, yeah, it flies you, mate. Oh, that's it. Then Dolly's. I thought he was yeah. going to... I didn't change camera angle because I, I did think he was going to go middle and stun it and then play this one second, but what do I know? So, <coughs> so this is another one for uh, Christy. Definitely means business. Have you had a little bet on Neil? No. Have you? Never asked me. No. Never asked me. Never had a bet, mate. Do you usually have a little double on you? I'm, I, I do, I yeah. do. But I'm always cautious of um, how, I, how I bet, you know. I, I do do my homework and check out um, opponents, not just nails, but everybody that I have a little dabble with. West Ham have equalised against Huddersfield from 3-1 down. It's now 3-3. Three, three. Unbelievable scenes at Upton Park. Unbelievable, Jeff. And you just feel like it's going to be 4-3. Steve Southall, I saw you earlier, but bloody West Ham weather. 3-3 three, three now, mate. So I can't see Neil losing this frame. No, not They're at all. all the, uh, the only tough ball is the black, but um, leave this red over the middle pocket till last. That will be the plan. Oh, where's the white going to land? It's just drifted yeah. enough. It's still okay, just low screw. And you know, he just has not punched that in. you got to be punching that in and back out off that side rail. So he's got a slight cut down the rail. Oh, he's going for the double. Wow, we told you that nailed down missed doubles. In, and you know, playing doubles to corner bags are a lot harder than playing a middle bag because you've got you've only got half a pocket to see. Yeah. I think Neil needed that one just to keep in touch. Yeah. You still put it somebody on this table, Joyce. Yeah, I, I, I can't talk to him, mate. To be fair, I, I, at the end of the day, they'll have to work around us. We can't work around them. I think this is an advantage to uh, Neil. Christie's break, he's loosening down at the moment. Yeah, if he's potting a ball off his break, there's a good chance that he's going to dish him, but at the minute it's dry and it's giving Neil... Chance to get control in the frame. Yeah. 
Does that red go up the top or is it stuck to the yellow? No, the red goes up the top, mate. Um, I will switch to the overhead just to uh, to confirm. Oh, the overhead camera's on today. Oh, yes, mate, the overhead camera's on All today. All the gear. And no idea. <laughs> Correct. James on his jinx. You can only see half a pocket at the best of times, Jason. Jenks, yeah, Jenks, about right. Jenks knows what this table's like. You understand, Jenks, smashing a, du smashing a double in at a corner pocket on this table. He, he's very impressive. He, he made Jenks look like he had no arms, didn't he, against Reggie Gill, <laughs> this table? Well, it ruins players, this table does. It can ruin players. But in saying that, I was watching Jenks practice before his Reggie game and he never missed a thing on it. He was absolutely firing it in. So these are still tough. I think Neil's just taking on one ball at a time and yeah, does he's he not perfect. Does on he scale to... I don't think he goes top. I think he's going to have to play it to middle. He's I think it does go to middle. It's one of them. Oh, he's gone for the containing safety shot. Oh yeah, Very clever shot. shot there. Clever shot there by Neil. I really should have just left that overhead on. Yeah, can he, I think he, um, predictions, I think he's going to potty. What? what are you saying? Oh no, he's not. He's not even going for it. I thought he was going to go once across. If he just plays this yellow and just nestles on it, he's not going to leave much. Yeah, but it's it's not the best of queuing. He's um, he's struggling to find a comfortable spot. I don't know. I, I don't know how bo how boy um, taking his chalk out of his pocket helped him there. Don't know, mate. Don't know. Table is brutal for us minions from the Jinx. Yeah, so Neil's just not wasting any time getting down to business with these. No, he's uh, just stunned off the side rail. That is a brilliant shot there by Neil. What bag are you playing for the blacking? Mate, I am playing it. Um, I, oh, sorry, bottom left-hand corner. Bottom right-hand right corner, sorry, is you, viewers see. Uh, obviously, it's uh, just it's left to what we in. see. Slow. Yeah. He's done well there, just too old on the yellow. Could yeah. have gone wrong. And he's he gone wrong. Yeah, good shot. You know, um, Neil could never bridge and play shots. And over the last year or so, um, he's probably improved twofold on um, on bridging shots. He has got it down to a T now. So Neil to smash him. But it's six three. Crunched him. Oh, has he got? How's that yellow stayed out? How has that yellow stayed out? There's a few balls that should have. Oh, that yellow has literally hit the jaws, gone in and come back out. Oh, that is a great shot. 
Sorry, I'm I'm just trying to find out. Watch that on the replay. Watch it. Oh. And it went. Combination shot. Great shot. I'm just trying to find. West Ham 4-3. You did say it would go 4-3, but I think you, you meant it to go 4-3 the other way, the way they've... Um I need a Luton goal now for 170 quid. A Luton goal for 170 quid? Yeah. I can't see that happening because... Um oh, Christie's well out of position now. Yeah, he's... Uh He's not as comfortable now as he was at the um, at the start of it. He's just well. Then, like you said, the the brakes aren't as big as what they were either. No, He's um, making life harder. Yeah, Rich Cox, four three, poorly French three 0 Yeah, I know, mate. I've just had it come through. Coming up to the end of the uh, end of the football game, so everybody's on the phones looking at the scores, the four fouls, and got the pool. Everything's going on all at once at the moment. And you're just choosing to get his uh, yellow in play there. You need a Luton goal, mate. It ain't going to happen, but I've got Luton in my bet. And I think there was one or two one up at the time. Well, I don't like that negativity, to be honest. So I think this is going to be another frame on the board for Neil. Luton just had a shot blocked. So Neil's going to play the double. Is so he going to play go. like he did the last one? A double. He kid never misses. He s just never misses a double, does no, he? No, mate. The, uh, he's ruthless on doubles, the kid is. So the guys are just taking a short break, got people. We'll be back shortly.
Okay, guys, the, the players are back. We've got Christy breaking. Okay, I was a bit of uh, premature there. He was just setting the balls up. He's just waiting for Neil to turn up. I think Neil may have gone for a poo. Neil's just on his way back into the arena now, guys. So back to the action, Christy to break. He's gone dry. His brakes, uh, his brake was pants at the minute. His his brake was astonishing at the start. Astonishing! Wow. Steve, can you put that back in the bag, please? Thank you. So Neil's just got to uh, get a tight tuck up here. Jenks shows at least I have a good break. These two have had the same amount of dry breaks between them than I had in my entire match. Yeah, Jenks, it's just a shame that you ordered uh, extra chicken wings in your game to what these have. Throwing in them everywhere you were. You love, you, you love Jenksy down here. I do actually really like Jenks. I brought him a drink last time he was here. I felt like, felt like I was buying a celeb a drink. Oh, wow. that's a great shot. Wow. It's just a shame I'm like pants. Is he playing Good the double? double? Yeah, I see. Neil would have banked that, wouldn't he? You, you, can, you can tell Christie's a, a Christ, Neil's doubles are a lot better than Christie's. I think Christy needs to um, do a bit of practice on his doubles. But he's a potting ability. Well. Yeah, Christy. Take the advice from your old pal, Jason. Yeah, if, if you'd like, Christy, if you if you want me to give you some um, tuition after the match, mate. Um, Are you still doing your lessons? Yeah, yeah. Guys, I, I, ch I charge £120 an hour. Wow. How to learn to double. <laughs> <coughs> Have you got your tie on stuff yet? I haven't, no, not yet. Well, oh. well. It was um, delivered to my home address by TNT Friday, mm. but I wasn't home. So I've had to have it redirected to my work yeah. address for yeah. Monday. Yeah, so at the moment, Jace has got no tie stuff. So if any of you guys want tie stuff, dirt cheap, it Richie is not Cox no, is your man. No, do not list. Oh, sorry, yeah. If you want it dirt cheap, you can get it off Richie Cox, but... Um, You're not selling not it, are you? I, I am, yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Um, but... The, but I must keep to um, the prices of yeah, the, um, the website. Trouble, yeah, and only because um, Junus um, kind of kicked somebody's ass. Sebs. Yes, yeah, Seb Webs for selling it cheaper than it's supposed to be. Yeah, so I don't know how Richie Cox is selling it so cheap, to be honest. So what's he doing? Three tips for 25, is it? And a free block of chalk? Something like that. I, th I, th I think it's only just to get him a, a bag. That's why he's selling it so cheap. Yeah, so Richie Cox, three tips and a block of chalk for £25, Tayum. It's only to support his addiction. Yeah, so if you guys need any Tayum accessories, then Richard Cox, 
Uh, you can go onto my friend list. He's on there. Um, he'll be in the pool chat and banter page and whatnot. And it's, it's Richard Cox, and he's the town man. But I'll tell, I tell you what. Is there any ladies in the house? If there's ladies in the house that likes puppies, <laughs> <laughs> there is a lad. Um, his name is Joe Hutton, and that's J O E H U T T O N. His his darling um, dog has had some puppies, and I do know he's got them for sale. So um, if you just drop him a PM, I'm sure he'll uh, he'll give you a price and send you some photos of the little um, puppies. They are quite cute because he's showed them me. Yeah, I think <laughs> he's still got his pet shop business as well, Joe Hutton. What's up? He's still got his pet shop business. Um, I don't know. To be fair, he's, he's got his hand in everything, Joe has. Yeah, I think he's got a pet shop now in somewhere in Bilston. So if you do need any pet supplies such as dog baskets or cat litters, then get on to, get on to Joe Hutton. You ain't a self, self-made self millionaire just um, by sitting at home doing nothing. By doing the dogs. Yeah. Always like a nice pair of puppies, yes. Ain't so Neil's uh, got right back in this game. I didn't I didn't see this coming, to be honest. I, d- I don't know I don't know if the run's changed or things are changing. But uh, he's well back into this, and Christy doesn't look the same. Christy is what started. Is it just not keeping things as tight now and no. going for a few a few different uh Yeah, great shot there by Neil. Gets him back into the game. Six five. Game on. Little dish here back on level terms. Gaz Chater, Mark's got some puppies, he shows them youngsters over the park. <laughs> Ban that <laughs> sick guy. To be fair, Gaz Chater, he did show me um, Rachel's puppies that he's got on his phone. Wow. I don't like to use the word youngsters for them either, Gaz, to be honest. I prefer toddlers because the youngsters get me into trouble. <laughs> but toddlers don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, you want to be careful on here, yeah, mate. So Neil's opted to take reds here. Yeah, I, th- I fancy him for these, to be honest. He's started to get the the grip, the bit between his teeth, and he's hewing uh, nice. Part of this, just push through. Oh, is he going to screw back? Same. Yeah, just push through. So if, ta- if, if he gets back out, um, probably between the blue spot and the, the left middle pocket here. So what do I know? Ooh, I can that's n- not. That's not the best shot. No, but it it just hampers his queuing, stops him from um, screwing back. But uh, I think he will take this one to the corner first. See, and that's what happened. Look, he's put he he's so put much yeah, side on that because he couldn't cue the ball. Yeah, he's had to put tremendous amount of side there just to try and straighten that red up, and um, he's just uh, collided the yellow there. So, as I says, that Neil wouldn't miss those. I'll try and give the uh, commentators curse on Christie's side and say Christie's not about to miss. He's got lovely golden hair, ain't he, Christy? Yeah. It reminds me of... Hmm. Neil Dangerfield at a younger age. <laughs> no. I, I can't imagine Neil Dangerfield with a hair. Was he ginger? Neil Dangerfield is ginger, yeah. Okay. Can't you tell by his eyebrows? No, I, I don't know that well. Christy's just got to keep things tight here. His white's a little bit all over the shop again. I think he was going up the table anyway because this one that's just left of the pink spot is his last ball to black to middle. So Just stun off the side rail. Yeah, that's better. He looks like a Duracell battery. Maybe if he was dressed in black, Jenks, then yeah, I'd understand. Or 
if he had one of your black shirts on. <laughs> a smaller version of Twiggy, this kid, rich from Rich Cox. Yeah, yeah he's cute that better. The kid now is out of cure ball. He needed that, to be honest, because uh, Neil's been on the, been charging back at him. I've just had a Mike Shaw sure, Tintin. I agree. I've just had a a message from Dave Rowlinson saying he has now got five pound free bets available to give away on Skybet. Um, so if any of you guys are, have got a Skybet account and you want a five pound free bet, um, inbox Dave Rowlinson. Um, He'll give you them out. He's a really nice guy. He'll sort you out. Um, and I think he gets commission or something from Skybet. Um, not very much, but it all adds up. So if you want a free £5 bet with Skybet, then inbox Dave Rowlinson. Yeah, so these are on now for Christie. If this was earlier in the game, he'd, he'd have took these. What do you think, Jace? Sorry, mate. Um, I've... I've got a player telling me now that he was meant to after the, after the Calcutta. Yeah. He was meant to be on an Amsterdam on an Amsterdam um, stag weekend, and he'll land back Sunday at eleven o'clock. You wow. know how much did he go for in the Calcutta? About one hundred and fifty, one hundred and seventy pound. So I think that will probably be reimbursed to the player that's brought him. Yeah, what are you going to do? Get somebody else to stand in for him? No, no. Nobody's allowed to buy into the events. They're either um, in the tour or not. Say again? They're either on the tour or not. Yep, yeah, that is it. Enough. As he's white. Oh, he's absolutely plumb. He's played that really well. So this is a good response here from Christy. Yeah, he's not at the best of angles here. White's running away. Yeah, and that's what happens when you try and hold off the yellow, get it wrong. I think it I think he's okay, yeah. I think he might just be able to uh pot this and go back up the table. I'm not sure, I can't really see the angle. It's a tough pot in itself, but if he just plays it off two cushions and goes anywhere towards the blue spot, he's gonna be on it. If he's landed on that, he's a very lucky boy. I'm not sure he has, though. Oh, no, he's looking at going um, one twice across. Martin Cross, nothing wrong with an erratic white. From the most erratic white in the whole of erratic white world. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. What? <laughs> Watch this, Jace, on the replay. How has he got away with that? Oh, my God. Oh, days. wow. Them kind of shots just make your opponent feel sick. Yeah, so he, he's run out of position. He's not on the yellow. He's giving it a wang. It's come off a jaw. Got nowhere near it where he wants. And he's potted them both. Wow. Neil, I just want to forget that now and get on with it. And he's absolutely crunched that rack. But he hasn't potted anything. Yeah, table, table's playing terrible. Who said the table's playing terrible? You. Yeah, for breaking, I think. Oh, yeah, he, he did crunch them centre ball as well. The white went straight all the way back in the middle. <laughs> Dave Rowlinson, oh, my God. Please tell me, Dave Rowlinson, you've had about 50 messages from people 
asking for free five pound bets from Sky. <laughs> but as we're joined by Matty Bennett in the comms box a little bit, are you Matty Bennett? He's not having none of this. Dave Rowlinson, please send me screenshots of these messages if you're getting them. Please, please, please. Shane Conroy, are you watching today? If so, um, your guy that you brought in your Calcutta has just, has just messaged me saying he totally got his uh, dates mixed up. He thought his stag do that he was meant to be on um, was next weekend. Um, so your money that you brought him for in the Calcutta will be reimbursed. So we're down to 62 players at the first event. Anthony Preston and good win last night, Bastable. Sorry, couldn't be there for work comes first. Yeah, mate, thanks, mate. Appreciated and million percent work always comes first. Shane Conroy just gives you the thumbs up. He's yep. watching. Shane Conroy, um, obviously I'm not at time at the moment. I'm s as you can see, I'm uh, streaming. Um, but now as soon as I get home, I will get the wife to send you your cash back. Is Neil looking at playing these reds off the black and pushing the black down towards the red? No, he's just... Yep. I thought he was just going to... Can see all the shots, just can't play them. Yeah, I, I, I just thought he was just going to um, put the red on top of the black, but it wouldn't have been a clever shot, really, because he'd have left a big big pocket for the middle bag. Huge pockets. It's Christy J so Christy's just playing... Like he was in the first few frames. Now, if they're not there, he's not going for him. So no. <coughs> you would expect him to be in a total now. No, he's not in total. I, th I think Neil's forcing him just to take this one over the bag up the top corner. Uh, just releases them two reds that's on the top row of Neil's. Gives Niels an opportunity of an if out. You if you can see this one over the rail and he pots it and then takes the one over the corner and stuns up low. Yeah, it's a clever shot. Dub double kiss the yellow yeah, just down there. Well can the red get past the yellow down the cushion? Well, we'll see on the hour, red mate. I think he can force you it past. Do a transfer if, yeah, on if, if not, at least get the bag. He's potted it. He's potted it. Happy days for Neil. Just one tricky red now. And it ain't tricky when you can play shots like that. So he's got to make sure that he gets the right um, angle for this y red to... Uh, he's decided to oh kick it out. He's played a great shot there. And I'll tell you what, as cheeky as you like. Yeah, you can see the expression and the de determination on Neil's face every, every time he's queuing a ball. Full concentration from him. His bottom lips on his chin. His bottom lips on his chin. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah. Uh, as you like it. Not the easiest into a bit of a blind bag, but he's going to pop this and just uh, come out for the black. No problems. No, nope. you've got to get into it more than that. You've got to dig a little bit deeper than that. Shane Conroy never wanted him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, believe me, he was a, he, he was a bit of a dodgy boy, Wardy pal. No, he's uh, he's a very good player, Shane. Is he gonna just always play? Oh, th as th you look, I think to be fair, that is just a bit, of frustration. A bit of frustration. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. You know, we all get it. You play a shot and it don't turn out the way you expected and it becomes a frustration shot. Is it Surely he's not thinking about anything but going for these, the way he's been queuing. Andrew K. 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 Um, what do you mean, you're behind? How far are you behind, pal? Oh, that's a great shot. Just perfect now to just screw it back down the table. Just ref refresh your page, um, Andrew. Guys, if you haven't already, please like and share the the stream and uh, like Extreme Q Sports TV. There's 
nearly 200 viewers now, so that'll be fantastic as Christy clears up there. Oh, we have the champ in the arse, Lewis Turner. And Lewis uh, Turner looks yeah. at here now, doesn't he? Mate, he might, he might as well be a thingy. We've even also got Ian Aldridge from Telford. Just joined by Lewis Turner. Looking forward to his game with Richie Cox. Looking forward to it, mate. Won't hold me breath. Uh, won't hold your breath. So, Lewis, the big question is, how many times a day does Richie Cox message you about your game? To be fair, I've messaged him more than he's messaged me. Oh, wow, really? O only asking him if it's on, because he, he keeps he's playing like three games a day, so... <laughs> Yeah, you can't help it though. The kid loves it. I don't think yeah, he's going to pull out, he, to be I, honest. He's uh, put a Facebook set of say, saying, anybody want a game? So I put you going down mids. And he put, uh, I don't know, he got in at half two this morning. He's got an hangover, so. Yeah, he messaged me this morning about half past two because I was awake watching my game. Um, and I just couldn't understand what he was saying. I've just gone, got, gone, man. Rune spinning. That's what he put to me last night at seven minutes past two. So, yes, definitely off his trolley. Whether I play three or 30, the game's on, mate, from Richie Cox. He plays three games a day. Richie Cox, how much are you playing for? As uh, Chris is just going about his work. £2.50. Is that all he's, uh, he's playing? Danny Evans soon pops up there. <laughs> I'll tell you what, these Telford boys. Tell you what, Christy's playing a lot better now. Oh, he's uh, he's in full flow now, ain't he, Christy? Yeah, he's, started, he's playing now like he started. 1,000 a man. 1,000 a man. That is a good shout, that is, uh, Lewis. Danny Evans has just popped up, and I thought he was he was playing on the on the table in front of me for the second. Sorry, Danny, that was a comment by uh, Lewis. Ten five now. Do you know much about Christy Lewis? I'll, I'll be honest, I've never heard of him. Mark Ash just told me that I've just had a knock from Mark Ash from Telford and he said he's a very good player. And obviously being ten five up against Neil, I'm guessing he's uh, not missing much. The brakes are killing. He's, 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 had a, he's had a good run of the ball, to be fair, and on, so, on some frames. Yeah, and now he's got dropping reds as well. If you can see that one in the middle. Absolutely rollings. I would imagine this to be 11-5. So the one to middle goers. Yeah, I think it does. I think you can just play it now and just leave the one down the... Bottom left baggers are looking yet. The guy can play, to be fair to him. And you can see from the overhead that both of those reds, I think, go past. Yeah, he's played a good shot there. You know, I, I look at the scoreline and I think to myself... This is this was like me that Sunday when I played Neil and beat him twenty twenty eight <laughs> eighteen. You'll never live that day down, will you, mate? Mate, I'm I'm gloating every opportunity. I'm going to gloat about it. Oh, does that still go? Well, um, I think he does. The I way think he he's does, still yeah. got a positive body language. He's playing it with right hand side to get across. Yeah, he's played it well. I'll tell you well. At that pace as well, tremendous into that corner pocket. So it's another frame on the board to. Just uh, doesn't look like he's going to miss now, does he? To Christie, at eleven. I'll tell you what, Neil was out. Neil was hoping to be finished for seven o'clock. I think we'll be finished at six. The way yeah, this kid keeps playing, he's he's out of this world. Christie Caulfield. Richie Cox, Lewis has gone, mate. He said he don't want to talk to you no more. 
That was a reverse dish, yes. So, if Christie's making a ball off his break, it, then he's uh, he's either clearing them or taking complete control. I'll tell you what, he's absolutely smashed that break, and, nothing and nothing's gone. gone. I don't know. Some sometimes, sometimes do you do you just take a little bit off? You know, give the chance for the balls to get to get to pocket and just drop. You know, instead of rattling round. Yeah, sometimes as well when the balls aren't spitting, the cut break like usually works if the normal break's not working because it's they just all break differently, don't they? But yeah, Rich Johnson, I have to admit of what what I've seen of Christie at the, at this present moment, he is a class act. Um, but as we all know. Alcohol can ruin people, you know. Even though they've got the talent, that uh, little um, watery drug can uh, definitely ruin, ruin people. It reminds me of a skinny Greg Batten. Both nice straight queuing actions. What do you think, Jace? Is Neil going to get these? He needs to do something quickly because, um, as you can see by the scoreline, Christie ain't come here just to um, give Neil free money. This Christie versus Lakin would be some match, to be fair, from Richie Cox. And you know, just you, you that, yeah, you can you can tell when you're trying your hardest just to break the root of the way things go, um, and you just perfect miss as well. Miss balls like that. Yeah, a bit of a lazy shot that was. He just got down and hit it. You know, he, he never he never really thought about it, but he he's, sti he's still, still in prime. He can just middle. leave himself the the plant if he likes. I think that's what he'll do. Tight bags. Tough shot. I fancy him for it though. And it, he doesn't even have to do anything with the white because he's got the red over the middle, hasn't he? You can just stun it dead right. Yeah, great shot. Tell you what, he's very quick around the table as well. It, it, like when he's in full flow, it, it's like there's no holding him back. His queuing action is solid. Good player. Not the best shot. It needed to miss the yellow to make it a little bit easier, but he's still going to drop it in. Yeah, he, he ain't hampered bridging. Yeah, played and it well. That is another one. So right now, Jace, what are you thinking if you kneel and how are you going to try and get back into it from somebody that's not missing? I don't know. You've just got to get. You've just got to get. Get this. I don't know. It, it, it's it's one of them. Um, just focus on on one frame at a time. I know, I know Neil's trying to break the rut here, but. Christie's just storming ahead. And he's made a ball that time off the break. And you know, we're, 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 only, we're only one hour 32 into the match and we've played 17 frames. Yeah, it's madness. It's crazy. We, we, we was one hour and 32 into your match last night and I think you, you played eight frames. No way. I swear. Never. My, my game only Always. went on for two hours. Behave. Two hours, 20 minutes. Mate, I set up at seven o'clock for you. No way. He didn't get here till ten past seven. Okay, I don't get home till like quarter to twelve. The stream page lasted two hours twenty minutes. No, Ch get I'm it off. No. Okay, no. I'm going to show you. No. Two hours twenty but the, uh, minutes. But no, it did. But then, if you think about it, there was only twenty nine frames. Don't but forget the stream went down as well. 
because the internet here dropped out. Frames. Yeah, and that was still another 40 minutes. <laughs> Get lost. Somebody have a word with Jason, guys. Guys, if you need any pet I repairs, pet supplies, free bets, DIY tools, anything, message Jason Hertz again. <laughs> just ask him for them. <laughs> Christy is absolutely flying around this table. He's like Lewis Hamilton. Absolutely flying. Yeah, guys, I'm just reading some of the comments now. Um... Yeah, n there's no doubt that Neil's good enough to um, pull it back, but it's a tough ask when your opponent's the level that Christie is or these guys are at and he's just not missing. Oh, look at the, the, the amount of conviction on that shot. To fire that in while bridging, go off two rails and drop on the back, that is a tremendous shot. Credit where credit's due. Tremendous. Absolutely cream that last shot. So Christie's just pulled his pants up to say, right, I mean business. And there was there were some people earlier in the stream that predicted like twenty one fourteen to this Christie guy. You know the way it's going. I can't see Neil again above ten. He's got uh, two reds down off the break. Yellows look. Um, mm. Yeah, I'd be going yellows here. I think he's going to try and shift this yellow out off the black. Oh, you that's know, a great shot. When you're full of confidence, you're playing well, and you're not missing then. Those shots just look easy, but they're not. They become a natural shot when you, when when you're that far in front. Yeah, Richie Cox, like watching you last night, basketball. Yeah, mate. There's there's a lot of similarities between Christie and me, to be honest. Um, first of all, we're both skinny, and then I think that's uh, yeah. There's just loads, Richie Cox. I'll rate you for that, mate. I'll rate you. Yeah, so we can just play this yellow now, flick off the red and just drop it on either one of the two in the middle. Doesn't have to do anything special. Yeah, he's absolutely plumb. He's just playing the balls with so much conviction. Really good to see. I'm having my ear all chewed off by one of my players. Matty Shields. Same boy. He wants to buy he wants to buy half in his in his Calcutta. Yeah. But he wants me to um sort the transaction out. Oh. Wow. So was, um and then he'll give me the money Friday. But for me to do that, I'm just gonna get involved of, of like the amount of transactions and like to to take and well, just to keep I don't know, control of it. It'll just fry my brain. Yeah, just so just tell them to sort it yeah, themselves. Players who want to buy half of themselves in a Calcutta need to be done between them two. Oh dear. Oh, hello, hello, we've, hello, hello. We've only got the black glove in the room himself, hello. Mr. Joe Hutton. Joined Hutton. by Mr. Joe, the machine, Paul Rorty Hutton. Joe, do you want to drop on the comms box because I need to uh, have a 10 minute break? Come not on, Joe. Not really. Come, Come on, Joe. Give your opinion on the match. Yes, yes Joe. Joe in Absolutely. the room. Absolutely. I'll tell you what, he goes, now. Nah, we're down to come on. But, like, he's, he's like, I really do. So, I'm sure that Joe is going to give us a little bit more knowledge on this Christie guy. Because Joe's been around for a while. <laughs> and he'll, he'll know what a good stick this guy is. 
Afternoon, people. Welcome to the stream, Joe. Uh, I haven't watched any of the match, to be honest with you. Uh, I've only just come. It looks like rape, 14 uh, for you. Do you know much about this Christy fella? Not really. I know he's from Coventry. and I've heard he was a very good player years ago and stopped playing for a bit, I think. Obviously, he's been playing again. If he's 14, 5 up on Neil. Has he had a... He, has he had a lot of run or has he just blasted He's it? had a little bit of run um, in one or two frames, but that's about it. He just hasn't missed. That's the way I'll describe it. He's, he's been class, to be honest. Neil's going to pull this one back, I'd imagine. Get it to 14-6. But yeah, that Christy Geese has been firing him in from everywhere. The table looks like it's glass. Just seeing that last couple of frames. Beefy ironed it just before they started. And if you iron this table, it is like glass and then it. That's how you want a pull table, to be honest. It's not good if that's what Neil's not been practicing on, though. Let's pull one back here. Yeah. Many viewers. 208. 208. Not bad, not bad, considering there's other uh, pull comps going on at the minute. How much was this for? Grand a man. Yeah. So, yeah, Neil's just got that one back. I think they're having a break. Yeah, I think you got away with that, Joe, to so be uh, fair. I, I can go on my way again. Well, thanks for oh, joining I, us, Joe. I, I don't <laughs> feel right without Kez. We're, oh. we're a team, me and Kez. Me, wow. me, me and you, we haven't we haven't got chemistry, to be honest. I think me and Kez were the original, though, Joe. That's, it, that's the only problem. You divorced you from me. Oh, wow. I don't know how long the break is. Uh, hang on. Neil's come back. Got his cue in his hand. You'd think they'd have a break after 20 with it being to 21. Yeah, they had a break after 10. Is the Irish Christy Caulfield? Or no idea. Hi Danny Evans, hi Steve Stalfour. Why well, you're not down here, Steve? I'm very disappointed in you. Every time I come down here, you're not here. It's like you avoid me. Let's have a look. He's only had three break dishes, it's three reverse dishes. Are you going to watch Washy later or anything? No, no, I'm going to go home and watch Wolves. I did oh, yeah, Wolves United, isn't it? Yeah. I'll watch a bit of the dogs as well. 8.27. Mum more. Drop six. It's uh, it's not a certain top of the state, the price tells you that, but if we can get three not breaking well, five is going sharp left. It's the tightest rally you've ever seen, so six is obviously getting a nice run. Get... Get three done by four or two or one. We've got half a chance. It could be around the corner in front. And it's not a 12, 14 to one chance once it's led. I learned something about the dogs the other day, Joe. What did you learn? If you back trap one to place one, two or three, you cannot possibly lose. I backed it the other day four times on the trot. I didn't even look at it. And it won every time. That's just one of them things, isn't it? Keep doing that and you will get skint eventually. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not really interested tonight. I just had a look at that one race because there was early prices for it this morning. And uh, it's, a, it's a puppy derby final and the dogs it come forward. Last run, if it comes forward again, it's a big runner. To say the favourite only beat it, two lengths. The favourite didn't really get done that bad. You get the favourite done tonight, it, it, it's just not a 12 to 1 chance. I've got it second into the favourite. I, I don't think five can win from five. And if you watch the race, just watch where it does out of the boxes. It is sharp left. It will be going into the other dogs. You know you know when you watch the dogs? Mm -hmm. So how do you track all the dogs? And I've got all the videos on my laptop. I'll, I'll watch them back. There's none of this track, tracking bollocks. I don't write them down. I just see the form. See when the last run was and then watch it back, basically as simple as that right we're back to the pool enough of the dogs no one really cares wow 
I think uh, Joe Hutton is on his period today by the turn. I, I left my coat in here on Sunday and someone told me they saw it on Monday or Tuesday. He told me it was behind the bar. Then he changed his story and said it's somewhere else. And uh, now my coat's gone. The coat that I got from Vegas, a Montclair coat. So if anyone in the Bilston area or Bradley area sees someone in a black Montclair coat that looks very expensive, you know that they're not buying that. You know it's mine. Let me know who it is and uh, they'll lose their fingers. And that's it, guys. And there's the reason why Joe is not in the best of moods today. I'm still recovering from Cheltenham as well. I can't drink three days on the spin. It's destroyed me. Water now. Back to my normal. That's it, mate. Right, this looks like a quick dish for now. Simple yeah. uh, ploppings. The pockets are playing will be playing a lot I haven't played in it but they will be playing a lot bigger on this table than normal with it being a brand new cloth and running like lightning normally it's quite uh, tight quite yes I know, I know this laking it, it's that's a bad miss from Neil he, he's, he's waved his arm but he shouldn't he shouldn't be playing it soft enough for it to even roll out I'm just watching it again now uh, why is he at that dead weight there was no need to Pockets aren't playing that tight. Yeah, good shot there from Christie, just playing the uh, combination or the skill shot, just to clear the pocket. He's got a couple of options now if he wants to. Yeah, it's gutted me, Rich. I, uh, I got it from Vegas and you don't see them coats around here. Oh, I'll, I'm going to Vegas again, I'll get me another one. I can't believe that they said they had it and then they've not got it. I never said they did beef, he said he saw it. Oh. I thought I left it at knots, that's why I didn't come straight back up here from Saturday night, the washy game. And they've not got it either? No, they, they, thanks to them, they did look through to CCTV to see when I walked in and I, I didn't have it on even though I thought I did. This... Uh, if, if Neil was going to get back into this match, he needed to come out from that short break, all guns blazing, getting everything and coming back first round and missing dollies as such. He doesn't bowl well for his chances for me. Oh, he's just uh, a little bit short on that, I think, for what he would have liked to have been. That's what everyone said, Rich Cox. Never mind, we'll let the coat go now. It's only a coat. Mopper 100% <laughs> sold it for 20 packs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tw 20 fags and a uh, I'm not going to say what else bit of smack is it does anyone watching have any comments does anyone believe Neil can get back into this match oh yeah so I haven't saw much of it that Christie looks pretty steady 14-6 is a huge gap ooh just stayed out. Is he? Uh, uh, does he not go very often, Christy? From watching him, does he? Does he like to defend? No, he's been attacking. To be honest, he's he's been doing a bit of both. And he, if they're on, then he's been clearing up. And if they're not, he's been he's played the right shots. To be fair, and at the right times. Yeah, he looks very. He looks solid. This Christie, he looks very solid. He's got a free shot here now. I think he can roll the inside one down the rail. If he does miss it, he's covering the red with the yellow. I don't know what he's looking at. Yeah, it looks like he's got the perfect angle to drop the one by the railing and just drop behind the other yellow if it doesn't go. That's what, that's what I'd be playing, unless he feels he can get dead straight onto the one in the middle. Not sure what he's doing. So he's just going to tap so the ball the rail. If he's just fudging now, he, he hasn't got that ball there. If Neil gets out of it, he's going to have to play a shot. I, I don't agree. That's the wrong shot for me. The only thing with it this me, way, me. he'll be able to get it a lot tighter and maybe cut off the one cushion. It, it, the, the two cushions easier than the one cushion. The red's more or less unmissable. Unless you slip just past it and catch the jaw. I think he's left this. So that's awful. He doesn't deserve this frame. He, he's played wrong shots. So it looks like he can get through. Yeah. Nicely on the black. Oh, 
Yeah, so that was a get out of jail free card there from Neil after he missed in the rollings. Everyone now watching now is Neil's capable though. He can get on a run, play now, miss pool. It's never over at his sort of standard. I watched him the other week play uh, Hit and Patel. I think he went eight nil up, never missed the ball. Hit and didn't do anything wrong. I suppose it can turn. Just got to get his tail in the air. He can't, can't play as if he's already lost. I heard about it when he was very young, Craig. Uh, did he play? Did he play someone really good a long time ago for money, like Sheppy or someone, when he was like 17, 18 in Cov? I'm not sure, but I heard his name. Somebody put earlier that he beat John Sullivan. Yeah, I, I saw that. That was last year or eight months ago or something like that, for two grand a man. And obviously, John's a very good player. That's It's always a good, good win beating John for money when he's been practising. Needs to uh, hit the middle, yellow of the three, a full ball, only gently. And that'll do yeah, it. Yeah, he's played it well. Backside. Yeah, he lost to Sheppey 21 19 a few years ago. That tells you the calibre of, of Christie. If, if he's only lost 21 19, he's obviously capable of beating Sheppey. They should be gone. It's all right, just. I'm not sure if he can. He old. I think he can play it through in between the reds. I'm not sure. I don't. It's always hard to tell from the commentary box. I don't know what he's screwing off the side cushion, I think, around the back of the reds. That's a I think. I Does think it go in the is middle? that a result? It goes up the top. Just cue it. If it goes in the middle, it's a right bonus. But this definitely goes past that red. I don't understand why you put running side on that. Just play it playing ball. Play it for the black in the middle. Around the three rails. He's, he's obviously not got his head on. It was uh, Moncler. Uh, Craig Lakin, Black Montclair. Yeah, good shot. If you uh, see Reggie Gill with it on, let me know. Yeah. There's another one back for Neil. Quick two. Yeah, he'll be happy with that after the break. Confidence boost he might have needed because he didn't look confident. In that first frame. This is, could could have been the quickest match ever if Christie carried on the way he was going. It's, what time did the start? Four o'clock. Yeah, about that. It's a nice open break. Could take what either ball. He'll it? be taking yellows, I think. A nice easy starter, isn't it? Whereas Reds just isn't. got this one yellow to get on, which you can kick out now. That's oh, he's played that to well. the right hand side of the it? table. Little soft screw into the red. He's played that perfectly. Are you saying yeah, he should it? be gone? Go and take the three up the table. Yeah. There, then, then come down for these two last last two balls. Pop the, the one top left and maybe come back two inches for the yellow in the middle. And then yellow top right, land anywhere on the blue spot, it's plain sailing really. I'll be very surprised if he misses these. That yellow goes past the red into the top left, doesn't it? I'm just electing to take that one first. In there's, the middle. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. Just runs the right, right back round. Back, back out to on the brown spot area. Well, he actually had the angle to come down the table towards the blue spot, but he's fine. Perfect. I 
I think uh, I've noticed in uh, when you see Calcutta's, this lad always goes for cheap. I think with him being on stream today and playing like this, he might be going for a few more quid in the next up and coming comps. I think he's on the Leicester tour, or he was. Somebody said that he's playing on the uh, Supreme tour. He's on the Supreme Kendall's, as well. Yeah. Well, that's that's just bingo tour, ain't it? The 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 cow cutters are done before the draw is done, and you've got players like well, you've got every player in it. You won't want to pay much for Christie. He'd probably be in a group in that anyway. Always oh, enough, enough. And how couldn't are these splitting? Couldn't, couldn't afford any of those, and they've split beautiful. What are you going here, Joe? I don't know. You can go either ball. You can free up the yet yeah, the red to the top right, and reds are relatively easy. I'd be going reds, I think, and freeing up that red. Josh Kane's just entered uh, the building, another steady stick. Josh Kane loves it, doesn't he? You can hear the uh, cov, cov lads uh, getting uh, loud now. He's going yellow, he's putting that red safe. Ish. Yeah, so he's uh, he's just going to mop these up, I think. Jenks says he always plays like this. Could have been a bad match for Neil. So I didn't know nothing about it, about him. Good practice, if nothing else. Yeah, it's only small money, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Neil's uh, back as uh, happy to chuck away a few quid here and there and smaller games against better players. Do you have a double on the pool over Joe? Not very often about money matches now. Hello mate. We're joined by the biggest legend in the whole of the pool world. Dan Eaton Lees. AKA God. AKA Machine. See, seeing him go about these now, oh, I preferred reds. I think he needs a nice kiss here. Oh, he's gone round the table. A tad unlucky there. If he doesn't, if he doesn't find the black. Probably finds himself on the yellow. To have ball in hand with how relatively easy the table was, he'd be a tad disappointed. Neil's got to punish him now, I think. Got to punish every mistake he makes. And he might he might make more mistakes with a bit of luck. Yeah, come on, Dan. Uh, d Dan's a bit scared to commentate with me. Yes or no, Joe, with these reds? Just just got to land in between the two reds now, and it's relatively easy. He wants the white on the rail. It's not ideal. He's going to have to play a shot. I wonder if Mr. Uh, George Tierney is watching. Uh, he'll be licking his lips. Neil's next opponent in a few weeks, is it? A couple of weeks, mm -hmm. and he's got a five star plus three minus two, isn't it? Is that is that what they agreed on? Yeah, but it's basically a five star to twenty seven. I think how it works out, I'm not sure. Can't be bothered to do the maths. 
Man City 2 0 down. Wow. Yeah, unbelievable. 1 0 down, Man City would still. I tell you what, if Wolves. To seven it, on to when, when Wolves do, Man U tonight will be favourite for the FA Cup. Who won me babbies? That's on the FA Cup, isn't it, this? What's with the name change, Mr. Webb? Have you uh, changed your your name by Deep Pole again? Back to what it should be. I'm not sure whether he's snookered here. No, he's having to jack up. That that's not it's not a good result for Christie there. The yellow's gone safe in it. Free poke for nearly a just just roll the red in. If you, if you don't get it, you're unlucky if, you, if your dish is. Just got to cue this. Tester queuing for him now, see how he's feeling. I fancy him to get these. Yeah, he's played, played it well. well. The mids of boys again a little bit noisy since uh, Josh Kane come in and tried to stir things up a little bit. Well, the gap's closed considerably, hasn't it? He's at 3-1 since the break. Another 3-1. Another it's only 16-12. I've saw some big, big comebacks in money matches in the past. Can we put Joe in the hot seat? Joe, prediction on the game? Well, Christie's obviously a massive favourite. Six, six games. Six clear, we've only needed six more frames, so I'd want Christie obviously, but when when I'm a neutral well I obviously I'm Neil's mate and I want him to win, but when I haven't ever when when ever have I haven't had a bet on a money match, I always want a decider. I'm sure as <laughs> most people do. Can't beat a decider, like the Seb Webb Neil Britain match. What a match that was, all the way to a decider. Great viewing. Yeah, it was a great game. Wonder what price Man City are at 2 0 down. Yes, Jim, Jimmy Wright, I was once 18 11 down to Tim Dixon, who's uh, a lot more talented player than me, and I'll come back all guns blazing. He's just, he's just get, getting the momentum in Paul. Everyone who's played Paul knows what it's like when you've got the momentum. He seemed to have the luck as well. Everything goes your way the breaks, the nudges. And when, you, when you've not got the momentum, as uh, Mr. Jenks will tell you, that's when he played Reggie, the game can be hard. You're going to have to play a couple of good shots here, though. Uh, knowing Neil, there's a double there. Uh, oh, I can't see it from the commentary box which way I'd go about these. Can he top through now and play the yellow in the middle? And then play the next yellow through the gap, play the double. Yes, I think that, that's what, it, what he's doing. I think he won't, I'm not sure whether he's straight enough on this to hold for the double. Might have to screw into the red, I'm not sure. Played the kick out. I don't think he played for that originally. I think he was playing for the double. Just didn't have the right angle become hard now he's chasing this all the doubles still on he's had a result Neil's normally 9 out of 10 on these there you go I fully expected him to get it he just doesn't miss doubles does he I think it's from playing on this table for years especially when it was tighter in the past it, like you look at Chilts even I'm not so good now but even even myself Really good at really pl good at doubles. And everyone who, who practiced on this table a lot because you avoided the rail shots. Uh, apparently, just had a news flash from uh, Jimmy Wright. The EPA are allowing blackboard players to play both rule sets up to county level. I don't know how true that is. Makes no difference to me anyway. I don't play anything. But the gap's closing. It's only five now. 
Was it 14 5 at the break? Something like that? Yeah, I think he was. 14 5, so he's 5 1 up this session. He's knocked in a lovely dish there, Neil. A bit lucky to have left himself the double after the kick out shot, but still got them. And these reds look like they're doable. Just the. Uh, I think this might go in off the yellow now, which opens opens the pocket for the red closest. He just doesn't want to kill that red at the bottom. That's no good at all. He's going to have to play another good shot along the line here. I think he had to play it that hard to make sure the yellow, the red didn't hit the yellow, then hit the knuckle and miss. Otherwise, I don't think he would have hit it that hard, obviously. Just horrible getting on that red now. It's proper mangled in between the yellows, isn't it? No, I'm not paying two hundred pound for someone in that event, Seb, against them players. I wouldn't be going myself if it wasn't for free. Probably not a bad miss, in the sense. If he if he potted a couple more and didn't kick his bad bad red out, he's got less balls to play with, and Chris is just going to totally out for Jim. Neil can probably work his way back into this frame now with extra chess pieces as such. Simon Crawford, is this where I'm playing you, Richard Cox? Richard Cox, how many games have you actually got arranged? It's about time he played me. He said he'd take five to 21, then he doesn't. It's a good shot. Massive control. Totals as well. I don't know what Neil's going to play. Uh, he's going to try and hit a red, knock it down here and make something happen. I think there was half a sniff there. Of if you hit that red right, if it uh, lock in after it's hit the the yellow. Not that a, a fudge is much good. It would have been too easy to get out of. We'll see how Christ is feeling now after losing losing a few frames. It might not be so easy for him. This definitely could go wrong if the yellow doesn't stay over the pocket. Chance now for Neil. Needs a lot of luck with his kick out shot, but I'm not sure how he's gonna go about it. He's obviously gonna be smashing into it, I think, somehow somehow. I don't think there's a control shot on. This is the one. Could smash into the two on the pocket. Might make something happen. There you go. It's beautiful. What a result that is. He'd be over the moon with that. Over the moon. Just wants a nice angle on the red, which he's got. Float the white down towards the bottom rail. Just played this well. Hitting the yellow is fine. And it's an, another frame to Neil. The Midland lad, lads are finally finding the voice. They've been awfully quiet since I've been here. And uh, Christy's smiling at the crowd. I think it's game back on, boys and ladies. They've just gone for a quick toilet break, the pair of them.
Cara uh, Washi plays tonight in Wigan. I'm not sure of the club. Can't even remember who's playing, but I know it's round nine grand a man. I don't know if it's streamed either. I'll have a gaze myself if it is while the Wolves match is on. Best cue action in the game. Right, the lads are back. Both wiping the cues down. Don't know whose break it is. I think it might be Neil's. I'm just talking to a couple of the lads. Yeah, Gaz Higgins washes playing. Q8 Wigan. I don't know if Q8's the name of the club. Probably is. Too far just to nip by for a slot from here. Probably an hour and 45 away, an hour and 50. Christy to break. That's why Neil was talking to people. Yeah, I've just been informed that the Washi match will be Facebook Live on Washi's Wall. He's absolutely hammered them. Balls flying everywhere. And the, the, the last ball rolling goes in. And he's got absolute tappings. He's got to play this first shot correctly. Roll in the plant. There's a bit of movement then after he's hit that. He's chucked his shoulder into it. I haven't noticed him do that before. He's alright, he's got away with it in a fashion. Good shot, good recovery. These should be curtains for 16-11. Looks <laughs> too steady of a player to uh, mess up finishes like these. Snatched that one slightly. Didn't didn't get through the cue ball. He's obviously all right. Well, I thought he played for the one in the middle. Slightly the wrong side of the yellow, but shouldn't really matter. Just means he's got to play the black from a bit more distance. No, he could hold it nice. Tapping black for 16... 11. Neil's got to reply back with a break dish. Make sure Christy knows he's still here. After Christy finally wins a frame. Got a ball. I think you'll be going yellows. There's no easy first red. I think the yellow goes in the middle by the two reds it, into the bottom right hand corner. It's not his best position or shot. Not sure if he's on anything.
And he had the gap. He's missed the ball. I feel if Christa gets these, it's over. The gap's too big again. Playing the double first shot. And it's there. Those two uh, reds look a straightish plant. We'll have a quick look. Yeah, it's straight enough. What's the top one? I think I might play the plant now. He looks perfect on it to me. Does anyone know what time Wash's uh, match is to let Sean know in chat? I'd guess at 7 o'clock, but. Oh! Threw his arm at that one as well. And if he's not left Neil on this yellow in the middle, he's had a right result. And Neil doesn't need him getting results like that at this stage of the match. And he had that yellow. They've gone a bit awkward. Needs a good kick out shot here. Bit of luck with it as well. I feel this is a massive frame in the content of the match. The yellow might go in the middle, actually, the one that's on the red. And take this one now and screw into the yellow to the left of the yellow he's playing. Oh, he's had an he's had another run there again. Trebles the shot now to the bottom left. Give himself a chance of covering the bag if he doesn't get it. not hit it hard enough I don't think and it's the run it's not not got the legs got a good cue ball out Christy cutting this one down the rail it's mighty thin can't really see a safety shot myself that's the plants on. Thank you, Johnny Williams. I knew I cocked up when I said it. He's waiting for the uh, the the can't speak English please to come out. I can write English, but I can't speak it. It's where I'm from, mate. I think he might have to set the one up the rail now. Might be too straight on the one into the middle. I'm not sure. On the table, uh, before he got re clothed, it would have been a hard shot up that rail. Oh. I actually don't fancy him to get this. I'd be playing the double myself. Yeah, he's, he's rather than the cut down the rail. His doubles have been too great, to be fair. But he's smashed that one in. Jace, can you piss off, please? You just uh, put the mockers. Yeah, I knew that was flying in when you said they've not been too great. Sorry, son. You're forgiven. Bit of emotion from yeah. Christie jumping in the air. Josh Kane's running into the arena, giving him kisses, saying, Come on. He's all pumped up, ain't he? Mm. 
Josh Kane must have his last 50 quid on him. The way he's just reacted. Did you uh, have any bets at Cheltenham, Jace? I didn't know. I wish I didn't either. I was a good boy. So, um, if I had a bad week on the dogs, I this week would have been disastrous, but luckily it was the opposite. I did, I did see your status, uh, your first day that you lost um, the average workers' no, wage, I yearly never, wage. I, nev I never put that at all. Didn't you? No, I said Correct me if I I'm wrong then. I said three bad beats. Oh, three bad beats. Cost me. I didn't lose that, but I would have won that. Oh, okay, okay. Day two, I won. Never argue with Joe about betting because... And my, uh, my guesses on day three and four was terrible. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> You're better at the dogs, mate. Yeah. E e even even Cheltenham's only once a year, ain't it? Yeah. yeah. And I go, I'm best off not going. I won't even bet on it then. To be honest, I can't believe what the pay for the pitch. It's one of them. We we're, we're on about getting a box next year for the Gold Cup day because I couldn't I can't go on Gold Cup day. Everyone breaks up from work. Every what everyone's there hammered. You can't move. You can't stand the place on a Friday. We're on about getting a box, and I think it'd be like five grand or something. But that's between ten of us, so it ain't, it ain't bad if it's uh, between ten of you. The terrible shot from Neil there. Luke King's got he, lucky, don't he? He's got to play now. Well, but I, I haven't saw anything. He had, um, I think it was day four, the Thursday. He had the fifty to one winner. Oh, nice, nice. Ni nice little touch. He, he, he did post it up in the morning, his um, predictions, and he did have it down as a an each way, but it... Um yes, Robbie, uh, Coventry Paul's looking fairly steady at the minute. I don't think uh, Midland could get a five to take on them. Well, we probably could, but... Neil, Chilts, Hit Yourself. and Patel. Hit and Patel, not me, I'm not good enough at the minute. Uh, <coughs> I don't know anyone else who's any good. Richie Fox or what he seems to have dipped in form the last uh, couple of years. I think that was a good boy for Richie, Richie Fox or. Oh, we've got Dan Eaton Lees. In the Calcutta. How can I forget Dan? What did he go for? 200 quid. What did Neil go for? 760. Yeah, that's too much of a gap between them two. I mean, if Richie's seeing the ball well, he's as good as anyone. Connor Tracy. I don't know the guy. Never heard of him. Um, I'm sure he's one of the Coventry lads. Went for £800. Jesus. Yes, Danny, I've just remembered Dell. I'm, I'm missing one player who's, uh, who's good from our way to make a five-man team. You only need one more. I'm sure there's another one out there. I really don't know. Stephen Giles? I'd, rather, I'd rather have me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all right in one framers. Concentration's a lot better. Always has been. I'll uh, tune into your stream, Jace, when you've got your comps going. You never know, I might go in one one day again, but just not this part moment in time. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm trying to play the game, but it's yeah, just too hard work. Unfortunately, this year, it's uh, you can't buy into the event. It's um, You've got you to go on the tour. You've got to go that, on the that, tour. That's how a tour should be, in my opinion, Jace. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll learn from last year because... When I was on Thacker's tour years ago, I was ranked to number two. Richie was ranked to number one. And Thacker, like an idiot, into the grand finals, made it an open event. And even though I was ranked number two, I ended up playing Mark White. Oh, OK. I, I was on Galver and I think I lost the decider. And Richie ended up playing Hitting Patel. So you've had a good season. And you end up playing players like that. Yeah, it don't help, does it? So I, I agree with what you're doing. Like I so, said, I did do it last that, season. That's... Uh, that's a bad miss from Christie. And I think last, last season I must have done about 80 transactions of people dropping out and selling spots. And I says, never again. Yeah, yeah you want you want the money up, up front or deposit in so they've paid for half of it or something before they're even allowed to play in the first event. No, mate, I'm, I'm mine. 
You got all, all, all payments has got to be paid before you even play one, one frame. Oh, fair enough. But no, Messi. How many runners you got? Sixty-four, hundred and twenty-five pound a player. Wow, you've done well there, Jay. Especially pool players as such, you know the like. They're trying, the lads are trying to get behind nearly here. Chris is uh, laughing to it, loves it. The Coventry lads are singing, but you can't even hear them. For a small game like this, it's not a bad turnout, Jace. There must be 50 people watching. Yeah, it ain't a bad guess. turnout, mate. I, I, I did keep it off Facebook. Neil asked me earlier in the, on in the week if I'd. Um, I knew about this, so I think you told me yourself yeah, that you yeah. was going to stream it. But and um, I did say to him that I'd keep it off Facebook. I wouldn't do no posters just to get the uh, people down watching. That's what it's all about. Neil's getting free practice in here all the time. Sab wants these people here, doesn't he? Yeah. For the club light. Otherwise, what's the point if no one turns up and you turn up with a stream? Oh, my God. Wow. How's he missed that? I don't know. I'm just going to watch it again. Did it go around the back of the pocket or did no, it just no, miss? It's, it's just rattled. Yeah, he's hit the jaw. He, he, he's he, just he forced can't, he, can't, eh? he can't afford any misses at all. and He might get lucky and get another shot in this, but I'm not sure if that yellow goes to the middle past the red. I think it does. If it doesn't, it's uh, not a hard yellow to develop with the other yellow by the middle. Well, I think they all go to a pocket down the Joe. Does the yellow... Uh, I I'm not sure that yellow goes, but as long as he's low on the yellow well, or the yellow to the middle. Should we have a look on the Alvarez, Matt? Oh, sugar. Wrong one. It's tight. It is tight. And I think he's... Uh, he's played on it now, so it probably goes. Unless he's just played an awful shot and left himself bridging over the top of the red. No, he's, he's on it. He's playing his pace, I think, to get round the angles. It flies in Jace. Could be on the yellow. I mean the red. Sorry. Can't commentate like that, Jace. I know. I know. Um, sorry about the switch, uh, of switch of camera angles there. I'm, I'm, like, just in the dark of... Pressing the buttons. These are gone anyway. Yeah. Just, this is the only ball he could possibly miss. He knew it himself, stayed down on it and made sure. Yeah, Christy's smiling. Crowd's loving it. Eighteen, twelve. Christie's interacting with the crowd a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I think um, if Tini's watching this, if we're bumping the pot up. Possibly. I think it's. Uh, it's one of them games against George. We, we all know he can play. You know, I think he's a he, he's under he's an underrated player as such. That's why he's won so many games because he gets players thinking that he's not as good as he is. And five starts, a big start to begin with someone like George. Yeah, I I thought that. I thought um, possibly a three start would have been. I, a I, I think it's a it's a fair line. Yeah. I, 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 if I had to have a bet, like sort of thing, I'd be like, well, I'm struggling to find an edge. Obviously, uh, we've all seen George Melt, though, as well. Yeah. Um, Adam Penwell. Didn't, too great, didn't do too great against Adam Penwell. Is that when he gave a massive start out? Yeah. Something like an eight I start. I never saw any of that. Like that. 
I've played matches and give starts out, and if you're not playing well, it's, it's hard work. I said never again. Would I give a five star? I'll give three since, but not five. It's like a mountain from the off. Yes, Danny, we know we we know Neil's the better player, but it's just them starts. I don't know if Neil's ever played a big money match and gave a start. I think he's giving what George plus two himself off minus. Uh, sorry, yeah, it, George it, plus three. It's basically plus five to twenty-seven. I think. Yeah. And Neil being off minus two or something. Just got to negotiate the uh, positional shot on the black here. I think anywhere by the red, round by the green spot, and he's fine. This lad just doesn't look like missing again. He's found his groove. So I think he sort of lost it, but Neil's made mistakes and you find your arm and I again wants to do. I think this match is curtains myself. I can't see him coming back now. No, he's uh, too far behind, I think. And you know yourself, when, when you're that far in front, your confidence grows. Oh, oh. Needs to go. Oh, he's, oh, he's perfect. Place of the tables. Just got that behind past the red. Someone, if Josh Kane keeps that up in here, someone's going to get upset. Especially with beers in brains out. Uh, mode. I tell, I, tell, I, tell, I tell you, there is a person that's glaring at him. Go on. Ginger nuts. Yeah, you know what he's like. I know. <laughs> when, especially when he's had a, a drink or two. And so get, get the stream off as soon as the match is done, just in case. Yeah, I don't think we'll do any post-interviews. Uh, um, Let's try again from Neil. That's no good. Another frame to Christy. Yeah, the Reds look... <sighs> I don't know how to describe them. The, they look like, you know, when they're too easy and you just don't know which way to go. Yeah. They look like them. And the way I play, I'd still miss them. Well, I'd join you. <laughs> last, last few sets I've had. I haven't played Paul now for a couple of weeks. Obviously, I was away last week, so I didn't get a chance. So he ain't got a lot to do with the white here. Just join the dots, really. And still, just plan your route. You're always best best going about them and knowing what you want to do, rather than winging it as you go. There's players like yourself, do, Jace. Oh, mate, I'm constantly closing my eyes and hoping to land on something. Hi, Mr. Mark Ganderton. Uh, I won't be playing snooker at all over the next couple of weeks, Mark. I've got some pool things coming up. And I need to learn how to uh, control the cue ball on a pool table and pot a ball. I don't think this lad's ever had a slap in his life. Who's that? Josh Kane. Josh Kane. <laughs> Fucking do my head in. Screaming like a girl. To be fair, this is the first time I've met Josh, so... I don't really know the lad. It's 2012. I wouldn't bother about your score, Christy. It don't really matter. He's going to the scoreboard to the left and just left it. We know the score on the... Dream. He knows he's, he's, he been, he's been very good again these last few frames. Oh, he dodgy racked himself there. Yeah, but he's still got one down. He's still got two down. Control the cue ball, lovely. Straight screw back.
They're all there. And you know, I think the black girl's in the middle as well. And you know, that's. I'm not sure from that. I think it does, <laughs> but. Definitely goes bottom left, black. Yeah. Twenty-one, twelve. If he gets these, quite a big margin. Wonder if there'll be a rematch. I don't think there'll be a rematch, mate. It's been solid. Yeah, that's a tremendous shot. So black for the match. And there it is. Mr. Caulfield wins 21-12. It's nice to see both players smiling and talking after the match. Really enjoyable uh, stream. A good match. Well played, Christy. Yep. I'm out of here. Yep. So, guys, once again, thank you for watching Q Sport TV. Um, it's very much appreciated for all to be tuned in. And once again, myself, my son, and the commentators that's been with me today, thank you very much. Over and out.